This video is about the one thing that we should all do after every single meeting we have with a client. What you're gonna walk away with is the one thing we're gonna do, or we should do afterwards, and why it's so important. So, expectation setting is one of the most critical components of sales. Uh, we need to make sure that the client's expectations are accurate. We need to know that our expectations are accurate so that as we develop our proposals, we're, we're developing it based on the right and correct information. And from an expectation standpoint, we need to know information so we can be more accurate with our forecasts. Problem is, is so, much, so often expectations are completely off between the client, us, and our managers. So one thing that we can do, and I highly recommend we all do this, this is one tip that I, I pretty much tell in every single one of the trainings, regardless of whether it's prospecting, meetings, negotiations, or closing, is after every single meeting, send a summary email. And you have to actually set it up with the client. So for instance, at the end of the meeting, right, there's a bunch of actions to action items and next steps and everything. So you say, you know what, thank you so much for your time. And by the way, this meeting is either over the phone or in person. Thank you so much for your time, I really appreciate it. Um, a lot of next steps here. What I'm gonna do prior, to, before I go ahead and do all that stuff though, I'm gonna go back to my office or when I get off the phone here, and I'm just gonna summarize what I was able to gain out of our conversation today. It's gonna be a brief email, I'm gonna send it over to you. Could you do me a favor and just review it briefly and email me back to let me know it's all accurate and whether or not I missed anything. You have to ask the client when you're on the phone with them or when you're in front of them because that increases the chance of a response quite significantly. But if you ask that, and then afterwards, very soon after, as soon as you get home, take your notes, which you do anyways, right? You put them into the app, whatever you're using, and into your CRM system, and just put it into a nice tight, you know, take out all the stuff that's fluff or, or stuff that's not really critical to the, the decision-making process or the buying process. And put it into a nice email that says, thank you very much for your time today. Below is a brief summary of what I was able to gain from our conversation. Could you do me a favor, review it, and email me back to let me know it's all accurate and whether or not I missed anything. And in that bullet, you put maybe, I don't know, five to 10 bullet points. Your decision-making process is this. Your timeline is this. Your priorities when making this decision are this. These are the three competitors, and these are the next steps. Whatever, the core stuff. And then really, really try and get them to respond back to you. Because once they respond back to you, now it's concrete, now it's tangible and you have something to leverage throughout the rest of the sales process. Because otherwise, I can tell you whatever I wanna tell you in a meeting. And it's not that I'm lying to you as a customer, but as soon as you walk out my door, your competition comes in. My boss comes and changes my priorities. So you could be selling something two weeks, you know, two weeks down the road, you could be selling to something that's completely irrelevant at this point. But by having it in an email confirmed, well, now there's something to lean back on if those expectations change. And it's another good thing to send that email because, and this is also a test for power, if you will, usually executives have absolutely no problem responding to that because they're not lying to you in that meeting. They're they don't want to waste their time with that. So they'll get back to you actually quite quickly. People below the power line, people who aren't decision makers, they'll tend to avoid it in some cases because some of the stuff that they might've told you during that meeting might not have been the exact truth. So just by sending a summary email and whether or not you get a response kind of tells you what type of person you're dealing with. And if you don't get a response, I'd be quite nervous. So in summary, after every email, make sure you tell them it's coming and ask them if they'll do it. And then send a summary email with the five to 10 core things that you've learned uh, in that discussion that'll help you really align expectations between you and the client and help you with your boss and forecasting because you can just transition that over to them. Good luck and happy selling.